I am confident. In fact, I'm willing to promise that thousands of jobs will follow. A guarantee tonight from the mayor that putting a soccer stadium in Oakley will mean jobs. And tonight we get our first look at what the stadium would look like. That's it in the middle of the picture here. It would be built at the Cast Fab site near Oakley Station right along 71. The jobs Mayor Cranley is referring to come with the development that you can see here that circles the stadium, sort of a, a half circle on this side and around to the I guess this would be the e, the west side of the stadium. It doesn't currently exist, but that's the proposed plan. And to get those jobs and the stadium, the mayor is offering $37 million from three different sources. Nearly $10 million from an existing tax district, $7 million from the sale of the Blue Ash Airport, and then surplus funds from the hotel tax. All that would pay for things like roads and bridges and sewers. Imagine if a company came to Cincinnati and promised, in exchange for an access road and utilities, that they would make a $300 million investment, bring hundreds of jobs, have the ability to attract 20,000 people on a regular basis who will then come in and shop and buy and we would say, and use hotels and stay in hotel rooms. If they asked us for public infrastructure, we would say yes in any other circumstance. And I believe we should treat FCC the same way. Hamilton County says it will build a $15 million parking garage, but adding up the city and the county, that's still more than $20 million short of what FCC says is necessary. Of course, it's city council who will ultimately decide whether Cranley's proposal gets the green light. And none of it happens if MLS doesn't, of course, choose Cincinnati as an expansion city. Local 12's Anjanette Levy joins us with that part of the story. Anjanette. Well, Rob, so far tonight, Amy Murray is the only city council member who's told us she is supporting this plan. She believes it will be good for economic development, but many other council members are not commenting tonight. FCC is a part of our city's renaissance. Mayor Cranley says FC Cincinnati building a stadium in Oakley would be a boon for the city. Councilmember David Mann says the plan seems to make sense, but he wants to review it. The ideas that the mayor's put forth are consistent with what we do for development opportunities. So uh, I don't see anything that shocks the conscience and uh, I want more time to take a look at it. Councilmember Chris Seelbach is a definite no vote. He wrote on Facebook, how about we give FC Cincinnati the public dollars they want for infrastructure in exchange for partial ownership of the team equal to our investment versus total costs. If they want public dollars, let's have the public benefit just as much as the wealthy white guys. <laughs> Hamilton County Commissioners have pledged $15 million to build a parking garage because of other potential development in the area. But Commissioner Todd Portoon says using county hotel tax money is a non-starter. Under Mayor Cranley's plan, the Port Authority, if it approved, would own the stadium and FC Cincinnati would lease it for 30 years. The soccer club would pay off the bonds. That's a different arrangement than what has been discussed and was news to County Commissioner Todd Portoon. The last conversation I had on it with the Port was about two months ago, and at that point, the word coming from the port was the revenue projections that they had seen from FC Cincinnati were unrealistic uh, and didn't work and the port was staying away from the project. And Todd Portune says he'd like to know what has changed, if anything, with that. Now, Todd Portune says he also wants an explanation from MLS officials about why Paul Brown Stadium is not a suitable alternative to a new stadium. He hopes to get that explanation on Monday when he and other county officials meet with, the, meet with MLS officials. Reporting live in Oakley, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Rob, back to you. Anjanette, thanks very much.